So with the NHL hitting the two-week mark into the season, there have been a lot of interesting stories so far. One of those is the New York Rangers, who are argued to be the youngest team heading into the NHL this season and the years to come, are tied for dead last in the NHL. I know it's early, but what's the problem? Is it the biased coach? Is it the lackluster defense? Or is it just plain bad luck? Let's find out. <laughs> Hey everyone, Norton 97 here, back again with a new video, and today's a bit of an interesting one. Today we're taking a look at the Broadway Blue Shirts, or the New York Rangers, per se, and discuss what their problem is in their slow start to the season. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel and you're considering to subscribe, that would mean a lot to me, as you know, we're trying to get to 800 subscribers by June of 2021, aka the middle of the year. So if you could go subscribe, that would mean a ton to me as well. We're only 75 away, I think, or around 75 away from the eventual goal, so yeah, thank y'all for that. And also, if you haven't already, please go check out the links in the description below, which includes my Twitter, my Instagram, my Discord, and my TikTok. So yeah. Anyways, if you can follow those, it means a lot. And let's get into the sticks and pucks, get the pun, of this video. So the Rangers started off the season in a two-game stint against the New York Islanders. And I have history with them. And they were kind of ran out of the town when you look at it in the first game. Arguably, you could argue it was bad penalties or the bad play of defenders Tony D'Angelo and Jack Johnson. We all know they're basically the jokes of the NHL. They bounced back in the next game winning 5 to nothing after scratching the two. But then went into a losing streak against the hot New Jersey Devils. Very surprising there. In a near comeback loss. And then they went to Pittsburgh for two games and only captured one point within them. But what's the reason they're losing? When you look at the statistics, most games are actually pretty close. So what's the problem? You could argue that's the mediocre defense or the non-stellar goaltending so far. Or you could argue it's the biased coach, head coach, David Quinn, who has had a history of not playing his young forwards like Capo Caco, which could explain why first overall pick, Alexi Lafreniere, has no points within the first five games of the team's season. But Rangers fans, what's the problem? I took that question to Instagram and found out. Now, first off, if you haven't already followed my Instagram, please go do so below. It's at nord 97 underscore IG. Follow the link there. Boom, you'll find it right there and easy. And you will get a chance to be featured in the coming videos. First answer here comes from at CacoNYC24, a.k.a. Gia, good friend of mine, great TikToker. She said, she sent me two messages, actually. First message was, team is actually great. Coaching is awful. Now, we have talked about this. Jay, David Quinn has a history of benching players, um, especially young guys like Capo Caco. He really isn't getting the time he needs. And with Philip Chatilla at six to four weeks, Caco's beneficialness is going to be lower than it usually is. And it looks like our next question is the same. Young guys aren't getting correct playing time and getting punished by David Quinn. And yes, we'd see Capo Caco last season, his rookie year, play only 11 minutes a night. And honestly, that's not good enough for a forward like him. He needs more time. He needs at least 15 minutes to put a decent standing out there on the ice. And that's why Capo Caco maybe didn't have that big of a season. Although it was his rookie year, we did expect a little bit more out of him. But, you know, it was his rookie year, so we can't really blame him. But, yes, we've seen that too. And I hope he doesn't do that to Lafreniere either. And honestly, after this season, or even in the middle of the season, let's say... 20 games down the road, the Rangers are like, let's say, 5-15 and 15 or some random record like that. Maybe maybe Jeff Gordon considers, you know what, maybe we should let Quinn go. Bring in someone else who would actually let the young guys play. And if he lets the young guys play, that's perfect. It doesn't hurt playing guys like Zibanejad, Panarin, all those young guys, but you do need to play your forwards that are young at some point. Our next comment here is from at Addy underscore Swenson, another really good friend of mine. And she sent me three messages. One of them was about to coach David Quinn. I mean, like, I guess David Quinn is the problem. But she also said this, our offense hasn't been able to get very many shots on net. We haven't been taking enough opportunities, and we've just had all around some bad shots. And yes, I have noticed this. They're getting outshot in a lot of games. Um, they're getting outshot. When you look at their statistics in losses, and even, and even the wins too. In the wins, they're also getting outshot. So, is that a problem? Um, definitely. You cannot get outshot in games. That's going to kill you eventually. So, I think that, you know... They need to work on the offense, they need to work on getting the puck past the defense and the goalies, and they definitely need to work on not shooting shots on the outside. Go to the slot, make chances, and that's what they that's honestly what they were doing, but they couldn't connect. So I guess that they are playing very good defensive teams, and this division is very competitive, but still. His next response comes from at Iggy the Hawks fan, and he says, Hello, I'm not a Rangers fan. No duh. 
<laughs> Just kidding. But inconsistency plus laugh ain't doing crap. Um, he said something else that I can't say. But yes, honestly, you're right. Laugh Rainier ain't doing anything. But we got to cut him some slack. It is his rookie year. And we do have David Quinn on the bench. So I don't. I haven't looked at his time on ice. I probably should go and do that. But he has. But he has had chances. He had one chance against the Penguins on Sunday where he nearly missed the net on a um, on a wide open shot. So, you know, he is getting chances, but he just can't get him through. He's kind of like Jack Hughes last season, in all honesty, really when you look at it. At least this one comes from at Evan.Posha, and he said, I mean, D'Angelo, of course, is benched. Yes, I mean, because he's not very good. And Panarin is not producing. Yes, you're exactly right. Artemi Panarin has been low-key silent through the first five games of this team's campaign. And yes, Panera needs to get it together. I mean, this team is low-key looking like how they were back in the playing rounds against the Hurricanes, just a little bit, just with less got, just with a few different players, honestly. Like, this team needs to get it together. They need to start producing more offense. They need to start having better defense. I think with taking Johnson and D'Angelo out of the lineup. I mean, I remember I saw a ridiculous stat where like they were they were outscored when D'Angelo and Johnson were playing on the ice, um, eight to one, and then they were like outscoring other opponents for nothing when they were scratched. So I think there's a clear. I think the problem is pretty clear there, but I I honestly don't get it. So you can take down what you will. But yes, right now it does not look good. Panarin isn't really producing. Panera needs to get it together and start producing. Anyways, bottom line here, do I think the New York Rangers will get better? Definitely. I think this is just a little bit of a rough stretch to start off the season. It happens. I mean, the Flyers are going through it right now. The Devils went through it. Uh, multiple teams went through it. Just look at the St. Louis Blues two years back in 20, 2019, where they went, where they were terrible to start of the season, and then they came back and won the Stanley Cup. Now, I'm not saying the Rangers will win the Stanley Cup, but they may be able to come back. But honestly... That was a different time because you had 82 games and you're in a different you're in a different formatted division. Right now, every single game counts. Every single game. If you go down, if you go down in the standings, like let's say let's say 20 games in, the Rangers don't move at all. Like, I mean, like that's not gonna happen. But you know what I mean. Let's say they don't move at all. Let's say they stay tied for last in the NHL. It is going to be incredibly hard to make the playoffs. They're going to have to go on a 20 game win streak. To realistically make the playoffs if they go on there from that point so you cannot so you need to get it together in new york and you need to not go even worse than you already are you play buffalo tonight you play a few series of games against the buffalo sabers you should win those not saying the sabers are bad but you should be able to clutch up and win those and yeah if you win those you can come back and try and make a salvage this Bad start to the season. And yes, it is too early. I know people are going to say, oh, it's too, too early in the comments below. Yes, it definitely is. But I think that they can definitely come back from this. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, go make sure to like and subscribe button as we were trying to get to 800 subscribers by June 2021. Thank you all for the constant support on the channel as of late. And I'm not, I'm not really not sure not what I'm going to do tomorrow. If we have enough news, I'll probably do a news time, but I might do something else tomorrow. I'm not really sure. I've been writing a script for a big video coming up. So yeah, anyways, thank y'all for the constant support on your channel as of late. Hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.